the struggle of who is an authority is something that many of us can relate to. It was no different in Bible times either. As you've heard so far, Jesus and his disciples have entered Jerusalem, and Jesus has cleared the temple and prophecies are starting to be fulfilled. So today's story comes to us out of the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 23 through 27. And it reads, When Jesus entered the temple, the chief priests and elders of the people came to him as he was teaching. And they asked, What kind of authority do you have for doing these things? Who gave you this authority? Jesus replied, I have a question for you. If you tell me the answer, then I'll tell you what kind of authority I have to do these things. Where did John get his authority to baptize? Did he get it from heaven or from humans? Well, they argued among themselves. If we say from heaven, he'll say to us, then why didn't you believe him? But we can't say from humans because we're afraid of the crowd since everyone thinks John was a prophet. Then they replied, we don't know. Jesus also said to them, well, then neither will I tell you what kind of authority I have to do these things. See, Jesus is in the temple area. This is very much a place that the chief priests and the elders would have claimed as their territory. They're already looking for any reason to discredit Jesus to the people because he's challenging everything they've worked their lives for, everything they've fought for with passion. He's challenging that which they find their very identity in. Brene Manning has a phrase that describes these religious leaders perfectly, which is trapped in the fatal narcissism of spiritual perfection. They had this idea that God and religion had to fit within the structure they knew. So when Jesus comes and starts to disrupt this perfect set of rules and those who rule, the idea that they could be wrong was too much for them to handle or admit to. These rulers knew that they could not answer Jesus' question. They were stuck. The question about who is John is the same as who is Jesus because they, have, they are under the same authority. And the rulers knew that. If they said that it was under heaven, then they would have to admit they were wrong. If it was under humans, then the people would revolt against them as they were followers of John and Jesus' teachings. So, who did they put their trust in? How many of us do the same thing? We get territorial when it comes to the things we put so much faith and passion and identity into. Do we have the authority argument with Jesus too about whose authority we're under? How willing are you, we, to admit that we were wrong? To admit that Jesus has more authority over our lives and decisions, families, and how we are to do life than we do. Don't get trapped into not being able to answer who is the authority because you will have to choose sides. Choose a side now that is willing to give up control remain humble, and live in the freedom that Christ gives us when we recognize that He is the ultimate authority.